Ah, Celtic in trouble. No strikers, no defenders. What's really is going on? Odson Edwa is reportedly a transfer target for Crystal Palace. New boss Patrick Vieira faces a big job rebuilding the first team squad and will be well aware of Edwa through his days with the French youth sides. Edwa was strongly linked with a Leicester reunion with Brendan Rodgers but that appears to have fallen through with Pat Sundarka brought in from RB Salzburg. With less than a year on his contract, it seems inevitable that Edwa will be on the move this summer. With Chris Ager now at Brentford and Chris Jullian in rehab Andrew Postacogler is short on options to play in central defence, compounded by Nibitton's red card against Michelin. Stephen Welsh and Dane Murray seem the most likely partnership to play in the return leg on Wednesday with Leo Gelder the only other option. On Saturday Celtic host West Ham in a friendly match with the trip to Tynecastle coming three days after facing Michelin in Denmark. Kyogo Furuhashi left Japan for the UK on Tuesday which makes him doubtful for the match at Tyne Castle. Taking a look at Celtic blogs you would think all was okay. Celtic fans really need to wake up, we are worse off player-wise than last season. Let's stop posting good news stories and tell the truth. Yes, things are better under the new manager. But we as a club and a squad, are way behind where we need to be. It's going to be the case, that Celtic FC again, will sell players and then run around the loan market like a used car dealer, looking for a bargain. Celtic need a right back and to be honest, they need it yesterday. We are short on a number of positions but the right back area is a genuine concern ahead of the new season. Angie Postacogler is asking both his fullbacks to do something different from what Celtic defenders have done in the past. He inverts his full-backs and they come into the middle of the pitch. It's imperative we not only get a right-back but one who can adapt to Ange's system. Time is of the essence and the club must leave no stone unturned. Over the past 24 hours, there has again been talk of George Baldock being Celtic's prime right-back target. Celtic have made Baldock their priority, as they look to finally solve a position that's not really had a permanent occupant since Mikhail Lustig. El Haind was injury-prone and ended up heading back home, Jeremy Frimpong never gave us that defensive cover and left after just 18 months at the club. The loan move for John Joe Kenny was a disaster. Subscribe for daily Celtic FC videos.